Yo, what's going on guys? Hope you guys are staying safe during this time. Corona being crazy. Um, I haven't played a match or pick up in like, I don't even know how long, maybe like a month or two. But I encourage you guys to just maybe stay at home or in your backyard, maybe in front of your house, just by yourself. If you can't play, then this is the perfect time to get better at juggling or um, doing like little drills, like dribbling drills around your house. Not around your house, but your property, whatever. And if you have no space in your house, then I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe you can practice doing some sit downs or some uppers. But without further ado, I thought I'd show you guys my cleat collection. I only have like seven, but they're all like, I'm pretty sure this is over $2,000 worth. Um, although I do want to sell some just because they don't like fit well. And yeah, let's just get right to it. Um, the first one will be this one right here. Obviously you gotta put Messi first. These were dropped I think last fall or maybe winter actually. Hold on. Let me change the color. All right, that looks a little bit better. So um, yeah, these right here, they don't look as blue now. Um, these, I only wore these one time. Um, it was a little bit wet on the field. The lacing isn't white anymore. And what sucks is that the gold is already coming off the bottom. I don't know if you can really tell, but yeah, I don't want to wear these anymore. I'm actually kind of debating on selling these on eBay or something. These are worth about like, I don't even know, maybe like 270 to like $300. Um, and that's not even including the shipping. The inside, uh, if you can see, there was a 30 there, I believe. And it's obviously like this one, yeah, you can't even see this one anymore. I don't really feel too good about these performance wise. So that's another reason why I wanted to sell them. The only reason why I kind of want to keep them is because this is dedicated to his sixth Ballon d'Or, I believe. And it was his 15th year of playing. I don't know if that's quite correct. You can fact check me on that one. But um, yeah, this is Messi's 2019 boot. Let's see. Oh, I got these ones. Now these are my favorite most used boot right now. They're super dirty. Let me just give you a close up. I was using this in the rain and even if I was on turf, um, yeah, it still got really dirty. Um, not too much mud, but yeah, I gotta clean these. These are worth like, I think these are worth 275. So we're already like $500 in. This is definitely gonna be over $2,000 worth of cleats. Yeah, I love these. These are my favorite to play in. All right, let's see. These are kind of like my beaters. If I think I might have to be stepping in some mud, I'll be wearing these because I don't really care about these. These are also about 250 US. Um, these are the Mercurial Superfly 6, I think. These ones were the first models that I really enjoyed because previous to this one, my foot just didn't fit well in any Mercurial boots. This one is worth 250, but I got them for $80 off eBay. Um, that's a little quick tip. A lot of people sell the last year or two years ago models for like way cheaper than the season that they're released. So if you guys want to get any cheap but elite level uh, cleats, then definitely check out eBay. Just gotta make sure the pictures are correct, read the description. And this one is, I kind of like these, but then I got them in person and they looked really weird. Whoever was on the Adidas marketing team did an amazing job with advertising because they made it look a lot better than in person. But the reason why I never did a performance review on these, the Adidas uh, Predator Archive, I think this is the one where I, they put 10 Predators in one. I'm not quite sure, but this is the one where it's different on both sides. Um, these go half size too big, so these are size eight and a half, I believe, but I should have got a size eight because they run long. Yeah, these were worth a lot. I think these were worth, I'm pretty sure I got these close to $400. I think they were 370 maybe, 350. Yeah, I think these are on sale on Adidas right now. I think an extra 30% off. So if you guys wanna get these from there, you can. I, I can't return these because I got them from Pro Direct, which is in UK, and they don't accept free uh, outside UK shipping. So I had to pay like a hundred hundred something dollars to uh, return these, which, so I, I, I'm trying to sell these. Anyone wants these, these are a size eight and a half. If you're a size nine, these would be perfect for you. Yeah, if anyone wants these, please hit me up. I'll sell for like 300, we, um, we can negotiate. Yeah, I've never used these. I, I literally just put them on one time and I was like, all right, these are way too big. So that's that. Let's see what else I got here. Now these, I said the Neymars were my favorite, but these are actually my favorite because, oh my gosh, these are a beauty. These are also $275, I think. These are Mbappe's first Nike boot. And you know, I had to get, I should have doubled up maybe. Like I kind of regret not getting two because I love these. Um, it took a few wears, but you can see the silver kind of, um, you can see the silver kind of coming through the green, but I mean, it's whatever. It's just the bottom. The top still looks fine. They fit the exact same as the Neymars, but they just look like way cooler. The whole first line of Mbappe's, like, you know, his jersey, they just, it just looks sick. And also the dust bag looks nice. It's like way more premium quality than just a normal, 
I don't know what that is, plastic dust bag? Second to last boot is the CR7, I think, Mbappe. Uh, the Dream Speed colorway, the first one. They dropped the second one already. I didn't like the second one enough to buy it, but I entered a couple giveaways and I doubt I'm gonna win them, but I really hope I do because I wanna do a comparison and I wanna do a performance review on those just to see if materials used are different because these are the same Mercurial, what, 13? These are the same Vapor 13s as the Neymars, but the Neymars, the upper material is slightly different. It molds to my foot better. These ones stay like way like more tight and they haven't broken in. I wore these like maybe three times and I just didn't like it. So I might be selling these on eBay also, but if you guys want them here, I'm looking to sell for like, I think these are 275. Yeah, these are 270 US, so I don't know. I might sell for like 250, but if you guys want a deal, I mean, I'll drop it down to 200 for you guys if you guys want these. These are a size eight and a half. Uh, yeah, the, I got some small feet, but hit me up if you want those. And my last one, which was my most recent cop, and I'm still debating on if I should do this video or not, but let me know down in the comments below if you want me to do this video where I take the spikes off cleanly, completely everything, because I don't think I've seen anyone do it. And I really wanted to see what it would look like without it, because I think it would look much better and it would also play better because these right here, the Mutator Predators, I don't like this freaking rubber thing. I don't know, it just kind of gets in the way, it sticks to the ball too much, but um, other than that, I really like the feel of it. I thought that I would want the boot to be laced, but they honestly feel fine without laces um these were also 270 275 all these cleats are way too expensive this doesn't mean that i got money man like i'm i'm taking a risk trying to build up this channel so i mean if you guys already made this far please subscribe and like this gave me some problems initially with performance i mean even just juggling kind of feels weird but i you I mean you get used to it obviously but every time i put these back on i just i gotta get i gotta adjust to it again but yeah, I'm thinking about either selling these or making that video where I take off all these spikes. Um, let me know if you guys would want to see that. Obviously taking a chance on doing it, but I think I'm leaning towards doing it. These are the Predator Mutators and let me see how much these actually cost. I feel like it might be over $2,000. Let me see. Let me do the math real quick. All right, so the Predator Mutators were 350 plus uh, 270 for the Dream Speed and the Neymar, so let's see, plus 270, plus 270. So I did the math and it comes out to 1950. $50 shy of 2000 and that's excluding, you know, tax and shipping. So definitely it's probably like, I don't know, 2000, like 50 or $100. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick video. I'm gonna do like a jersey collection maybe. I have some that are a little bit interesting, um, some throwback ones. I just wait to see that and hope you guys are, you know, staying clean again. Hope you guys have no one. <laughs> oh hell no yeah those are my allergies i promise i hope you guys you know have no one that you care about who are who's getting sick just stay tuned subscribe please it means a lot and yeah bye